about cables. I get questions about how important cables are and if they have any impact on your guitar tone and I must admit that they do. They really affect your overall core guitar sound. So it's important to talk about cables. Uh, if it was a contest, we it would be most fair if we found some cables that had exact same length. But I've just found cables that I'm either using now in the studio or have been using earlier on. And uh, they are not exact the same length, but you will definitely get an idea of how much impact that they have on, on, on your tone. So, And to be fair, we are recording directly from the guitar the cables into my sound interface. It's a sound card from Universal Audio called Apollo Twin with some nice converters and we have a soft tube plug in there. Don't judge the amp settings, it's more a matter of showing the high end, the low end and it's the cable we are listening to today. And uh, we will record from my uh, 513 PRS guitar, either with a neck pickup or a single coil, single coil together with a middle pickup or single coil together with a bridge as humbucker and finally the bridge has humbucker all by itself, so you will get some different tones from, from my guitar as well. Okay, uh, let's move ahead and I'll introduce the cables for you. Okay, let's go ahead. The cables we are listening to, the first one will be this. It's a Fandam cable and uh, normally I use it from my guitar into my pedal board. It's really soft and smooth, so it's very comfortable to use in the studio or on stage. It has this switch that's really, yeah, a nice little benefit. And uh, normally uh, I'm using this, therefore I, I made the settings in the soft tube with this cable as well. The second cable we'll, we'll be listening to is this, Evidence Audio. It's definitely the, the most expensive of the cables we're listening to, and it's really nice. It's a little thicker than, than the Fandam cable, but it's still kind of soft and easy to use that way. Then we have this one. It's vintage cable. My, I inherited from my big brother. He had it made back in the 80s, I guess, with Nitric Stick, and I don't know the brand of the cable, but it's, it's vintage. And then we have this one. I had the, these cables made in the beginning of the 90s for my first 20 unit rack when I had when I was doing a lot of TV and all the cable cables in the rack was, was done with this. I don't know the brand of it, but it was kind of expensive back then. So then we have this one from Monster Cables. Uh, it's called Jazz. It didn't improve my jazz playing, but it was supposed to be the most neutral and less coloring cable at the time I bought it. Uh, I think I bought it about five years ago, something like that. And then the last cable will be also from Monster Cables. It's the new Studio Pro line and it's, it's definitely the thickest and also a bit stiff. So it's more convenient to use in the studio than using it live, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll record something for you and we'll have a listen. Okay, here we go. Here's the logic session. I open an equalizer. It's not active, but I, I have the analyzer turned on so we can watch the frequencies as well if you think. That's interesting. And it is in this column we have the neck pick of a single coil. And uh, here we have the neck a single coil together with the middle. Here we have the neck a single coil together with the bridge as humbucker. And finally we have the bridge as humbucker all by itself. So let's go ahead listening to the Fandam single coil neck. <laughs> bit alike. I mean, this is the old cable from my TV rig, uh, maybe 20 years old. It's, it's nice to compare that to a modern cable from Evidence Audio. 
And here we have the Monster Jazz Cable. Wow, that's a bit nosy. Not as nosy as this one, but it's still different. Wow, okay, let's listen to the neck as single coin together with the middle pickup. Okay, if we're just listening to this part of the phrase. Uh, this is somehow in between those two. Um, I don't know which of these I prefer, but let's move, move ahead and listen to the make a single call together with the bridge pickup. Okay, here this this is definitely more open than this old one. This one, I don't think I would buy it if I went to a store and was introduced to this. I would probably go for one of these or maybe the old see-through vintage from my TV rig. Okay, finally, the bridge is humpover. Here we go. <laughs> Again, let's just focus on the middle phrase. <laughs> Yeah, also if, if you're checking out the frequencies, you can see this has a bit more high end here compared to those two. Wow. Very different, very different. Let's move ahead to the other camera and wrap it up. Wow, that was interesting. I haven't been comparing the cables like that before next to each other, so I thought it was interesting. And I don't know about you, but I think my favorites were either the Fandam cable or the Evidence Audio. Uh, Evidence Audio is about twice as much price-wise as this one, so it's depending on your budget. and. Of course, there are other cables out there that are really great as well. So, well, go ahead, just give it some thought and, and pay some attention to what you're using. Also, if, you, if you're going to like a, a music store or a friend's house to check out a new pedal or a new amp or something like that. But if you're checking out a pedal and you're just bringing your guitar and your favorite cable and the guy in the music store, he will handle you the pedal and 
a cable he, he has around. Maybe if it isn't a great cable, you will think it, that the pedal affects your sound even without being turned on. But actually it isn't the pedal, it's just a matter of the cable after the pedal. So be aware of that and give it some thought. Also if you're having a guitar that you might want to sell or considering adding new pickups to, to your guitar because it sounds somehow high end or you, you miss something. Maybe you just miss a better cable because the cable you're using is eating all the high end you're getting from the guitar. Or the opposite, if you have like a Strat with a maple neck, maple fretboard and you think, oh, it's a little too harsh in the high end. I get too much high end. Maybe you just need to find an old vintage curly cable that will round off the, the high end, make the guitar sound wonderful into your favorite amp. Well, give it some thought and uh, hopefully you thought this was interesting and hopefully you will be back another day. Till then, enjoy and stay cool. <laughs>